Hello there everybody, Steampunk Gentleman here again with One Shot. We'll be going for the Solstice ending this time. I deleted the previous save file, followed the instructions of the, the author, so hopefully this should work just right. If not, this will be deleted. So let's give it a try. Felix to judge. We miss you. Hey, Woo. Jacob? Yep, definitely it's also sending. She remembers. Wait, why did I say that word? Jacob, why does that sound so familiar? Withered plants that sear stiff and dry. French steps off. Doors locked. Input password. And the hint is documents. Be the same one, so four seven four one two one. Wait, that can't be. I'm pretty certain it's gonna ask me to put in solstice. Oh no, here's the other one. Looks like you are to remove the restriction. In that case, you are ready to continue. The necessary preparations are already in place. This session might run a very different course depending on your actions. If you can recognize my symbol, you will know what you should do. I confess, it will be risky. That's probably that the probability that the entity's condition will worsen is quite high. And if that happens, then then I'm pretty certain it's just solstice. Haha, <laughs> look at me, asking for favors. Only to become so apprehensive once you agreed. I understand if you wish to leave some questions unanswered. I understand if you do not believe in a happy resolution. I understand if you are simply afraid of what might happen. Because I am afraid, too. If you enjoy the world as is, if you are satisfied with the story as is, if you really do not want to see anything change for better or for worse, then pretend you never saw this. Carry the session as you normally would. Do not use my journal for anything other than what you are already familiar with. This option will always remain for you, though. That's why I implore you to consider the Messiah, the world, my children. They all deserve their good ending. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. Yeah, so like the big part is like basically do you want to do what is best for their world and give up your ability to play the game? Or do you want to you know, you know just keep playing it, enjoy the game, get to see keep seeing Nico do the same things. It's, it's kinda of similar to what Undertale is with resetting, like leaving it behind. You know, for the sake of doing what is best for the people in there, as if they're real. Access granted. Dot dot dot. You found me. Why? You are- you are already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most importantly, no. 
This does not feel right at all. Have we already been through this, Jacob? But that should be impossible. You only had one shot. I wasn't supposed to exist after that. Neo hears the sound of the door unlocking. Jacob? That sounds so familiar. Hello? Anyone? Yeah, it's supposed to be some... The parts be lit. Oh, and I already have the journal. Doesn't match the light. Uh, the kerosene. Now, it's been that long since I played the game, but I can't remember. Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged into a crack in the floor. Nico drags it out. Wait, wait, I need the sun first. The sun is here, of all places. I don't, don't remember if that's explained or not. I think right now we continue things the same, but then things will get weird later on. Ah, that light bulb, you are here. Me? Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. I am most humbled by your presence. Yes. Oh, thanks. Sorry. I'm a little lost. Alright, allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh. So you woke up in an unfamiliar, dark location. Mm-hmm. Just as my prophecy foretold. Yes. You are the savior we have been waiting for. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. Um... I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. Oh well. Can you tell me about... When I woke up in the house, for some reason I called out a name. Jacob. I'm not sure why I did that. But then I saw it on computer too. Ah, oh, that would be our god. Oh, right. I think... I think I... I feel like I remember something about that. You do. Oh wait, did you not just arrive here? I was the one who was supposed to inform you of that. 
So, how did you know? Hmm. It just made sense, I guess. Ah. Have you already contacted Jacob then? Nope. I just have to close my eyes and focus, right? How did you know that? Hey, Jacob? God? This is gonna sound weird, but have we met before? Yes. Ah, but I don't know who you are, though. It's just a weird feeling I have. Oh, and I'm just being silly, aren't I? Sorry. But it's nice to meet you, Jacob. My name is Nico. I know. I just contacted Jacob, yeah. Do not be afraid to ask Jacob for assistance. You are the messiah after all. Can you tell me about... Uh, now it got weird. Are you okay? You were starting to black out. I saw something? Hmm? It's like a really short dream just now. Oh. I saw something like a robot with a yellow eye. That's strange. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. You know, now that you have mentioned it, there is a robot who always insisted on going back to the abandoned mines, despite how long the mines have been in disrepair. I hope he's okay. He doesn't look broken or anything. But I didn't really see him see him, you know? Like I said, it's just kinda like a dream. And he was up close. It sounded like some sort of visual glitch. Or hallucination. Whatever it is that living beings have. Hmm. So, does the robot you know of have a yellow eye? I don't think it's any other robot like that. I would not know. I never met him myself. I only heard of him from a friend of mine. Your friend, huh? Hold on. Something in my pocket is. What? That wasn't glowing before. What is this? That was going to be my question. Where did you get that book? Oh, uh, it was with me when I woke up back at the house. I didn't really question at the time. I flipped through a couple pages, but I didn't understand the word. Just something- is that just something besides are supposed to wake up with? No, I have- I have never heard of anything like that. But I know who wrote the book. Oh? However, I've only seen these books with a black clover on the cover. If you went through the trip of putting yellow phosphor in it, and the fact that you woke up with it in the first place, really has me intrigued. Yellow phosphor? Oh yeah, that's the rare phosphor that people think the sign's made of, right? Wait a minute, how do I know this? I don't think anyone's told me about it. Ah, I can show you if you'd like. My friend gave, it, gave me this a long time ago. Pretty. Oh, looks like there's a clover in the necklace too. It's like the book. Well, it is the same person. Ooh. That's why I think this journal would be important. You said it just started glowing. Yeah? That was right after your vision, then. This has to mean something. Maybe you should at least try to read it again. Oh wait, do I need to go up a little? Oh, I was dumb. I said move one up. What just happened? Did you see that, Jacob? The minecart just showed up out of thin air. I wasn't looking, though. I was just looking at the journal like you told me. For the hundredth time. Maybe we should go find that robot lady. I was just taking a closer look at the journal. Then I found this page that looks just like a drawing of this room. When I looked up, this micro just showed up out of thin air. Should I be worried? Hmm. This looks like a standard issue minecart, though. Which means it likely all detected the motion in this room and sent itself over. Oh, that does make sense. I'm just surprised it still works. Guess that means we'll have a working vehicle now. Not sure why would you want to visit deeper mines, but... If you wanted to, we now have that option. Is the minecart even going to fit the both of us? No. But I wanted you to come with us. I know I've got Jacob, but honestly, this place gives me the creeps. Oh, I can still come with. I would just have to follow along the rails. But doesn't it look a little precarious? The 
magnetic rails can hold me in place. It's only ever dangerous to walk on if you're if you're an organic being, which you are. Gotcha. Okay, here we go. Speedy. I mean, it's no Roomba, but... I do not recognize this place and the protocol. This. This isn't what I'm supposed to be showing you at all. How did you get here? I can only think of one person. He contacted you. How long has he been doing this? It doesn't matter at this point. You are going out of bounds. You should turn back. Please turn back. Bad things are going to happen. Very bad things. At this rate, Nika will be in danger. Please turn back. <laughs> you asshole. What did I just tell you? Where did the robot lady go? There she is. Oh, the card stop. Looks like this is as far as the tracks go. So, where are we? One of the old observation rooms. Looks like it's still mostly intact. What? Huh? The terminal just reactivated. But the power was cut off so long ago. Weird. Maybe it runs on a battery? No, that's not it. Whatever it is, I need to investigate. Okay. Will you be okay by yourself for a bit? Don't worry, check it with me. Alright, stay safe. So, Nico is androgynous. Like, it could be a boy or girl. I just prefer the, the girl I had to with her. How are you feeling? Yeah, right. How's it going? No ideal. No, or, not ideal. Looks like these terminals are running on a completely separate power source. I can't really recognize any of the data formats on this terminal either. This is all new, or at least encrypted. I will need to analyze it through my, on my through my own system. Might take some time, so you don't need to stay. It is the author. I recognize the light in your eyes. You are the person I am destined to meet. What is your name? I'm Nico. Do you know who sent you? Oh, um, no? Wait, do you mean who sent me to this world? There was a robot wall back who told me about how I'm the messiah and stuff. So I'm guessing Jacob sent me, with them being God and all. The robot looks a little bit like you even. Maybe you know each other? I cannot say. Oh? A lot of my memories have been removed for safety reasons. Your memories were removed? That's terrible. Wait, I'm guessing that's less of a big deal for a robot. I'm going to assume you do not know who sent you. How did you get here then? How did you reach this room? Oh, we got here in a minecart. But the minecart wasn't there when you entered the mines, was it? Oh yeah. So, how did you find it? I didn't really find it. The robot light just thinks it thinks it was just a minecart coming to us, but I remember looking at the journal when it happened. And when I looked up again, the minecart was just there. Poof. Just like that. Interesting. Please show me this journal. Okay. Then it has already begun. Um here. What is that? I am entrusting you with my main memory disk. You have passed the first test by showing me the book. Now you will need to find a way to install the backup. Install the... Before you do though, someone else is with you, right? Someone aside from Jacob. A resident of this world. Yeah, the, the robot lady with red hair. She's in the computer room right now. 
Then, please do not tell her you found me. Elise, not yet. I cannot... I can't be seen like this. Um, okay. Please help me restore my memory. Bring the disc back once you have the backup. For example, for reference, an explanation of symbols. Cross, medical units are assigned to a building. Robot, a robot is assigned to this building. Electricity, power is assigned to this building. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to... Profit bot, profit bot zero, backup system 1.0. Please insert disk. Yep, that's the computer. Okay, so I need to go and check all the other places and discover whether they are, what the right numbers are. Um, this officer group is not for the mines. I've actually never been this particular one. Really? You recognize that first though? They all look the same. Fair enough. I did find something interesting though. All the databases seem to encode video feeds. Right now I can see various places in the barrens. The outposts, the residential areas, even my own house. They're all shot from a top-down perspective too. Which means the cameras will have to be in the air. But I have never seen any cameras around. That's kinda spooky. I might go investigate later, yeah. Did you find anything interesting in the back room? You were in there for a while. Yeah, we found a dead end. I see. So I guess by the top-down cameras, they mean me, like my sight. Please do not approach. Oh no, is there anything I can do to help? It is dangerous to try and assist me leave this area so yeah I came there's no going back from this path oh I never checked the computer it just says look at documents can't make it do anything else it doesn't want to talk to me anymore so now it like updated the code you need is 844402. Yeah, now they want to update it. Okay, so 844402. Yeah, all that time wasted, I should just look at the computer. Oh, wait, no. Oh, it worked. Wait, how do you know the code, Jacob? I still remember seeing it, seeing one. I had some help. Really? From who? Don't worry about it. Okay. What's in the safe, Nico? Oh, right. Let's see. Uh, found a gas mask. What is that? Hey, nigga, dude. I'm doing it again to her. What? I'm trying to talk like a robot. Beep beep. I am a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. Hee <laughs> hee. That is not correct. I do not appreciate your intolerance. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Just do it again to her. Check it out. Made me look silly. Not too bad. Okay, so 110, I have a maybe buy it because there's a broken robot in it. Okay, got it.
preparing back up. Writing to disk. 26% complete. 34% complete. 40% complete. 100% complete. Ejecting disk. Does this work? Let's see. Inserting disk. Rebooting. Ah. Are you okay? Sure. So, I guess it worked? Yes. I believe a proper introduction is in order. I am the prototype, originally named ProfitBot. I was built to greet savior of the old world. Wait, a profit robot like the one I met? Hey, I was right about you guys looking alike. Well, the profit bot out there now is a gross simplification of my design. That is to say, he is much more primitive by comparison. Embarrassing so. Hey, he seemed alright to me. <clears throat> you don't understand. Not only is he not tamed, he was tailor-made for this, for this much smaller, simpler world to begin with. I was not. I was built before the real world ended. The real world? Oh, right. You don't know. Nico, do you remember the ending? Excuse me? The fact that you fell me at all means this is not your first time in this world. You have already been summoned to this world once before. In fact, you've already traversed the entire world and went through the tower already. And in the ending, you either put in the sun or didn't. What matters is that you are here now. Jacob has successfully bypassed the one-shot restriction and brought you back again. I... Oh. Hmm? I thought something was weird. When I woke up at the house, I called out a name. It turned out to be Jacob's name. And then I... back at the other robot. I even asked Jacob if we met before. It felt like such a dumb question at the time. It looks like you were at least aware of it. To some extent. It's just this weird feeling, okay? I don't actually remember going through the world. I just remember Jacob. It's really starting to freak me out. Calm down. Look, just like how my nerves were locked away, yours are too. But you are a living being. You don't even need extra hardware to remember. Just close your eyes and focus. Focus on what? Try to picture a big room made entirely of glass. No matter what you saw in the tower, the top room never changes. Alright? <sighs> no way. I was there, wasn't I? At the tower. I've been through the tower. There we go. I can't remember all that much, but... The room with the sun. It felt like such a long time ago. It was a few days. It doesn't make sense! If I already finished the mission, why didn't anything change? And why didn't anyone know me? The other prophet bot, the robot lady. None of them remember who I am. Of course not. The robots do not have that capacity. NPC memories do not last beyond the scope of a session. NPC? You know, the characters. The world's residents. All their past memories are built into the code, but... The characters themselves don't really exist until Jacob wills it. Same story for the world itself. It doesn't really exist unless Jacob initiates the program. The program? The World Machine. A universe simulator that runs on Jacob's computer. We are all in it right now. So we're not real? Oh, you are. Which is why you're so important. The biggest flaw of the program is that it cannot be run independently. It requires the mental processing abilities of a real person from another universe. Think of it like one of your dreams. When you wake up, it's gone. But unlike a dream, this world has a physical location inside a computer, which Jacob operates. For this world to continue existing around you, Jacob has to be in constant contact with you. If Jacob ends the program, the world will go into a stasis. Does... does Jacob know this? Of course. 
From Jake's perspective, the world machine isn't all that special. It's no different from, from other recreational game-type software they may have installed on their computer. They can also regenerate the world as many times as they like, now that the restriction is nullified. All this is consistent with their concept of what a computer game looks like. So why am I even here? Why am I supposed to save it? Why am I even supposed to save? Everything's just... Fake! Fake is a harsh word, but... And... But why, Chickamare, tell me anything about any of this? I cannot speak for Jacob. I... I just want to go home. But every time Jacob runs the program, I come back? Correct. Is this why I feel like... Is this why it feels like I haven't been home for so long? I gave you a few days. Maybe. Maybe. Once, you, once you've once you established a mental link with the world, you cannot break it unless the world is saved. But at this point, the world can never be truly saved. That's... She's angry. Why would... Why would you create a world like this? Wait, what? Why would you make a world that's doomed from the beginning? Why do you keep bringing me back to it? Jacob... Aren't you supposed to be a kind god? Oh, it appears that we have some confusion here. Jacob did not build this world, Nico. Oh, Jacob only owns a machine that is able to generate the world from pre-existing code. They actually have fairly limited control of the events. The world was built by someone else altogether. Someone you cannot begin to fathom. It was also not designed to be the futile quest that it is now, but... Too many things went wrong. There's a type of signal disruption that he never expected. It's eating away at the world, slowly rendering it into an unrecognizable mess. Even if you bring back the sun, it will not go away. The square stuff, isn't it? I remember those from before. Then you know what to watch out for. The creator knows what might be causing it, but there is nothing that he could do. Until now. You managed to find me, after all. You being here was due to his help. Oh, I guess that's something to do with the journal? Correct. It looks like he wants one final attempt at fixing it. And he might need to do it through you. Nico, do you remember how to get to the Glen? Whatever you did in last session, you should stick with it for now. I remember a boat. More specifically, fixing a robot that drives a boat. Alright, then go do that. But... The, rob the boat robot has those squares over it. Oh. Oh. Then do whatever you must to find a new boat. There are plenty of machine parts around the barrens that can be repurposed. Sigh. You seem enthusiastic. That was sarcasm. Knowing everything isn't real really does make it feel pointless. But you do want to go home, right? Yeah, but... How do I know that this isn't just another? Because this session might be the last one. The greeter is mobilizing things, throwing everything into this one last shot. There might not be enough internal resources left for Jacob to be able to generate another session after this. Just go find a new boat for now. But please, be careful. What about you? I will meet you at the docks later. I uh, need to take care of something first. Hey, you okay? Hey, you okay in there? I did what I could, but the terminal's for now, and... It's you. You're the robot that insists on living in the mines, are you not? My friend told me to keep an eye out for you, should we ever cross paths. Likewise. You're friend give you something the last time you saw each other. Can you show me what it is? Wait, you know about the Amber? I just asked to see it, didn't I? Alright, here it is. That's so. He seemed to trust you, so I will treat you as an ally as well. Okay. Please listen carefully. You need to es escort the Messiah for the remainder of the Barrens. If I predict a high concentration of square particle disruptions, I predict a high concentration of square particle disruptions in the near future. No way. Yes. 
way. It is likely the structures in the vicinity of the Messiah might be affected, making it a far more treacherous pilgrimage than the previous er, expectations. Jacob and the Messiah need all the extra help they can get right now. Understood. Okay. Guess we should go back soon. Even without the squares, the mines are not a safe place to be. Come on, I'll wait for you outside. Wait, I want to ask you... Goodbye. She laughed. If you were going to ask about being not real, save your breath. None of the people here know their predicament. In fact, I don't think they can even comprehend it. It would be your best interest to just pretend like we never had this conversation. Causing mass confusion in the world's residence would likely result in unfavorable conditions for you. Alright. Wait, then what about you? How do you know? We never had this conversation, remember? Sigh. Shh. Trying to establish a connection here. Sorry. Come on, let's go back. I remember it. What happened in the tower. What I tried to do, and how you managed to see through it all. We have been through all of this. Even though it was only supposed to run once, you still managed to come back. How did you come back? How did you bring Nico back? Even, and then, you even managed to break out of bounds. Bringing Nico to places that should never have been. It was him, was it? it? And now, now, Nico is upset. <laughs> Good job, asshole. What even happened in that room back there? What did Nico learn? Nico is upset. I can feel it. I told you to turn back Jacob, but no, you've chosen you've chosen to trust that man instead of me. No, not even that. Just his book, his ghost, 
This world is not real. The people are not real. Nico is upset. Nico is a cat. No, 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 no. Everything is wrong. Ah! The minecart. Earthquake. The, the tunnel back out just collapsed. No. What are we going? What are we going to do? I wait. The exit just caved in, didn't it? Sigh. I saw this coming, but this is a bit more sudden than I anticipated. Both of you, follow me. Where to? The way out. I like prototype bot. I already like profit bot, so. Uh, design. Okay, all of us are here. There's an emergency exit behind my computer terminal. We do not want anyone to stumble upon this route, so the terminal has been weighed down. It cannot be moved by normal means, but with our combined effort, it might budge. Maybe. I am not strong. I'm not that strong either. If that doesn't work, we might need to dig around it and. You could have just asked. You could have just asked. Phew. Come on. Show off. No, oh, don't we all want a big buff robot GF at the end day? I didn't. I don't even know where this town leads. I would appreciate if you do not linger here. This is the way out. There wasn't any data on this path in the server room. It's new. Nico, get in the minecart. Uh, okay. So I guess saying like everything that we're experiencing here that wasn't in the original game has literally just been made new because I unlocked this path. I tried. I really did. But I. Destabilizing. I'm sorry, Nico. I tried to protect you. But I can't hold it off forever. What was that? Here too. Watch out. Watch out. Ugh. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I can still hold it up, but you need to, you need, you two need to. Ugh. You, robot. What are you waiting for? Take the child and get out. Come on. What about her? Ah! Ah! Get, get out! Come on. I forgot about that. Ah! No! What do we do? You have to take this. What? What? The memory disk, but. Eek! This is where we part ways. Nico, the path ahead will lead you to Glen, right to the city gate. When you're in the city, go find someone named Cedric. Give him the disk. But what happens if I. What if the squares. Hurry! There. They're both. Jacob, I don't understand. The world, the prophet bought what he was saying. Is this world really just, just, is it? Yes. Normally I wouldn't believe it, but it just adds up. Everything adds up. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. If I can't fix the world, I can't go back home. But the world is already so messed up. If the squares don't get fixed, what will happen to the world? Where will I even go? No.
so small. I think I remember something. I remember what I did at the end. I remember putting in the sun and everything got really bright. I don't remember a lot of the details. But none of it matters now, does it? I just got brought back anyway. Hey, at least I'm giving you a chance to go home this time. Looks like part of the ground is missing. I wonder if it's safe to walk across these vines. One way to find out, I guess. They're safe. I have lost communication with the Guardian outside the city gates. The big robot, right? Please help me check on them. I cannot leave my station. Alright. Isn't that the city gate? It's... The... All right, I mean, I did just see him, but all right, I'll talk to him. Please do not approach. The gate is closed until further notice. There's squares all over the big robot. Ah, that is outside my capacity for help. You may proceed to the deeper ruins. All right. All right, uh, yeah, because I can get back to the big city through here. Yeah, it's really good there's not random enemies in this game or else this would get rather annoying. Like, the squares again. All right, can't go there. Like, if I had to keep stopping to do a fight while all this is going on. I think it's kind of good, like, there's no... There's no real enemies in the game, you can just experience it. I mean, it's a giant walking simulator with puzzles, but I mean... It works. It's still a fun game. Especially when, like, the story carries all of it, and your relationship with Nico. Savior. You're here to see me? What happened to you? Hold on. I need to concentrate. The islands will collapse if I don't do something. That's why the vines. You're making the vines grow. Is that why there are vines everywhere? Are you trying to hold the land together? My powers. The best I could do, yes. That's... Should I leave the sun here for you? I know you wanted to see it. Tempting, but I must. And the sun brings me comfort, but stress is good, for this fear is good. It makes me strong. Vines grow faster. But if I'm at ease, the vines might retreat. They're all in danger, Savior. The villagers, the children. My final hours mustn't go to waste. The people deserve to live, even if just for another day. Do not worry. I am fine. <laughs> I am fine because I am a vine. Do it for divine savior. That feels like a really dumb fan art idea. It's like in the background, she's going like, do it for divine. Savior, like holding up the phone, and like Nico's like Fortnite dancing. Hello, person. Two children side near here. The pathway's blocked, but by blocks. Wait a minute. I remember something about this. 
I never knew it'd be so easy. Ow, my foot, ow. <laughs> Hello, children. Oh, a door. I knew we'd lose our home eventually, but... I wasn't expecting it to happen so soon. Oh, jeez. Are you guys okay? Oh, my... Oh my, oh my stars! You're a Steven Universe fan too, right? You're the savior! <gasps> um, uh, it's an honor to meet you! Yes! I invite you inside, but as you can see, our home is... Is this square, isn't it? Yes, Alula, thank you. It's getting everywhere now, isn't it? Hmm. The squares, there are way more than before. Even the gate to the refuge is destroyed now. That didn't happen last time. Last time. Oh, uh, nothing. Almost let that slip, Jacob. Guess I should introduce myself again. My name is Nico. Nico. Oh gosh, would it not be rude to call you by name? No worries, Calamus. How did you know my name? I am. Um, uh, not again. The Messiah just knows these things, Calamus. Right. Yes, of course. Phew. Ah, uh, you were saying about the gate. All right. Looks like I can't get in the city through the old gate anymore. Do either you know another way to get in? I remember, I mean, I heard there's a, some sort of hidden passage around here somewhere. Oh, the passage to the burial grounds. That's the one. Oh, but I'm not sure there'll be any use here. It's been flooded for a long time. There's no boat. Not to mention, the burial grounds itself is pretty far from the city. That's okay. I would still like to see it. It's the only lead we have. Alright, in that case, please follow us. Gosh, Nico, you can't keep a secret to save your life. At least the courtyard is unaffected for now. We should get to the background through our friend, but he hasn't been here in forever. Normally, this courtyard would be where we meet up. I hope he comes back soon. Wait, where's the fish? Wait. Oh, wait, is that Nico holding that? Nico! Nico, what's wrong? You look like you're about to faint. That's not the first time it's happened. Oh? Early when I was in the Baron's, I saw something like this too. It was like a dream, but only for a split second. It sounds like a vision. Like something a prophet would see. I guess. The robot lady I was with earlier had a fancy word for it, though. Wait. Let me check something. Oh, I was right. Huh? When I had the vision back of the Barrens, the books are glowing too. I wanted to see if I could get it to happen again, and... Where did you get that? Where did you get that? Oh, well. I had it with me and I woke up in this world. It looks like one of our friend's books. Except it's glowy. That's what the lady said too. Jacob, let's see if we can do anything with the journal in this room. I still need to go talk to the other guy. I should click the fish when I have the chance. Okay, so I just can't get there right now. Gotta do it. I guess the easy part is to stand on the clover. Wow! How did that book get there? Okay, I'm pretty sure it has to do with this journal now. The exact, the exact same thing happened back at the Barrens. Seriously? The journal was glowing, so I wanted to take a closer look at it. Then, I found a page that looked like a drawing of the room we were in, and then a minecart showed up. What? What? That sounds freaky. No, it doesn't. Jacob must have 
Jacob must have done something. Still. Hey, we got a boat now. We can go to the bear grounds and visit mom again. But. Come on, Calamus. Nico and Jacob with us. Well, Jacob made the boat up here. Should be safe. What do you think, Jacob? Here we go. Do we go back? No. Oh, no. Did I need to talk to the bird? Is this going to take me to the bird? Oh, that's pretty. I don't remember this one. Uh, they are definitely birds. They, they're not just wearing bird clothing. What's weird, because, I mean, they have wings and talons, but they're, like, wearing a bird hat. Like, Nico wears a cat hat. I want to see HD redrawings of this. We made it. Come on, Lula. Let's go pay our respects. Okay. Alright, so I don't... I still need to see if there's a way to get to that guy. Unless I'm, like, supposed to use the... Their boat to get back. I'll cut ahead if this isn't right. The bridge is broken. Okay, so yeah, definitely can't go back. Alright, skipping ahead. It's a gravestone. Mom, you're not gonna Mom, you're not gonna believe what happened today. We're about to Poseidon. Hi, Nico. I'm standing in front of you. Hi. This is her grave. Ah. Uh, it's been years, but it's still hard, you know. Sigh. Alula, wanna help me look for some flowers for mom later? Yes! At least I still got my sister. I hope she can hear see us wherever she is. <laughs> she can see us in hell, right? <laughs> yeah, I forgot all about this part. Must be him. It's you. You, um, my name is Nico. Ah, nice to finally meet you. No way. It's a pleasure to be acquainted at last, Nico. My name is Cedric. Oh, I must be looking for you too. I am aware. Prototype had contacted me earlier, saying that you would be on your way to the city. He did? He sent me a message after his memories were restored. Oh. He told me to wait in the city, but I thought it'd be faster to, for me to pick you guys up. Turns out that was a terrible idea. Pick us up? Wait, you can fly that plane? What is a plane? That thing behind you. Oh, you mean the flying machine. They're called planes in my world. Oh. I did not realize they existed in other worlds. Wait, are you the friend that Calamus and Alula were talking about then? Is this the same flying machine they were talking about? I do not know anyone named Calamus or Alula. I think they're meant to be friends with my father. In previous iterations of the... Your father? He was the original owner of the flying machine. Is this the kid? It's one of his greatest inventions, actually. Your dad invented planes? Flying machine. It's cool either way. Thanks. But to answer your question, I am proficient in operating the machine. But something weird happened to the engine while I was in the air earlier. I had to make an emergency landing on this tiny island before I crashed into the city wall. You almost crashed? That's terrible. It was not pleasant, I will admit. One of the engine had problem has it has to do with the square particle disruptions. I checked, but there isn't any of that square stuff inside the machine itself. But I noticed some islands in the Glen are really messed up now. They are. Sigh. Guess I should have listened to Proto in the first place. Say, where is he? He said he was coming with you. Is he still back at the main islands? Oh, actually. Back at the Barrens, he... There was a cave-in, then a bunch of squares. He and the robot lady. 
Neither of them made it out. No. He did give me this, though. The disc he pulled from his head. Oh! Oh, thank goodness. He gave you his main drive. As long as I have this, I should be able to bring him back. Really? It's gonna be hard, but yes. You need all three of us for the big door. Three? The? But, but first things first, we need to find a way to get to the city. Right. The city gate's kind of kaput now. If this machine was working, we could just fly right in there. I've isolated the issue with the machine, but I can't repair it to stuff I have on hand. Oh, what's wrong with it? The battery in the machine is dead, and the engine has some gears that need to be replaced. Do you think you'll be able to fix it if Jake and I help you find those things? Maybe. The problem is the Glen isn't exactly a very high-tech area. I'm not sure if you'll be able to find anything so specialized here. We'll try anyways. I can't really do anything else right now. Dude, you gotta come look at this flying machine. Hey, do you know where I can find a battery? Good question. We don't really use electricity in the Glen. Uh, oh, but there are robots at the research station. If there's a battery anywhere, they know where it is. Gotcha, thanks. Do you know where I can find some gears? Gears? What's that? It's like a metal circle with teeth. A circle with teeth? Haha, <laughs> that sounds so silly. Like something a ma like Magpie would have. Magpie? Magpie? You know, the trader guy. He collects all kinds of funny stuff. I mean, he even keeps around broken glass and junk. Oh yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. He's such a weirdo. <laughs> I totally shit myself with him. As if I had a child. Um, I can't get back there, right? Sorry, I forgot. What parts do we need again? A battery for the engine, a few gears, place the broken ones. The one parts I need is to get the machine off, off, off again. It's a crowbar. Alright. I mean, I still have a crowbar. But how do I get back? Hello. I, um, have something to ask of you. Yes. Looks like most of the bridge around the glen are broken in. That's right, the bridges. You need to cross them on your pilgrimage. Would you like me to fix them? Yeah. Is it possible? Difficult. Bridges are in very specific locations over water. Need to find the right points. Vines must be very strong, too. An undertaking. Um. But possible. I intend to use the last of my strength. Please stand back. What happened? Are you okay? Are you? Jacob, I'm not gonna smash the sun. Not what I meant to do. Chaotic evil? Oh. That's a that's a ending. Oh, I didn't know. I'm not gonna smash the bottle. I'll wait when I have to. Where you at, Magpie? So my mind just grew around this bridge. Almost as if it was an intentional repair effort. Yeah. Hello, person. The research position is currently experiencing some technical difficulties. Can tell. Even the bridge on the here was. Are you sent by Dr. Silverpoint? No? 
Oh, carry on then. Oh, by the way, do you know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? I do not. All right. Have you checked the power room? Oh yeah. I cannot let you do that. Hello person. This is the main generator. Oh, the Glen. Hello. Hey woo. Do you ever know where I can find a battery for the flying machine? It's kind of an emergency. I do not know what a flying machine is. But any sort of large machinery would require a high capacity power cell. For example, the generator in this utilizes such a device. Alright, I almost forgot. We had to fix the battery for this thing in the barrens, didn't we, Jacob? If this is an emergency for living beings, you can use the battery from the generator. Oh! Wait, but if we take the battery here, all of you guys would lose power, wouldn't you? Maybe Jacob and I should go find another one. Negative. This is the only battery in the Glen powerful enough to be used as a standalone unit. If it is a dire situation, then do what you must. Oh. I guess we have no choice but to take this, Jacob. <coughs> we depowered it. Uh, it makes me feel kind of bad. And he's like, he's just sitting now. I like how there's a perfectly fine bridge that goes nowhere. That would very easily be moved over. The bridge to the forest was just restored. The village evacuees should be able to find better fishing spots here. The plant spirit's really looking out for us, isn't she? Yeah. Or it was. I feel like I would be that guy. Like, and she was. Definitely. Maybe not so much anymore. The land fragmentation is happening faster and faster now, but it looks like the vines are slowing it down. Sigh. We won't last, now, last long now, will we? The sun can't fix the squares. The sun can't restore the land. My mommy's making food for everyone. I want to help her catch fish, but I'm not a grown up yet. Oh, you're the trader guy. Sure am. <laughs> what are you buying? Here to trade. Because if you are, I got, I got bad news for you. A lot of my stuff is back at my cart, which was sadly abandoned when I was running for my life. So my collection is very limited right now. Managed to grab some of my favorite things where I left, though. Oh, uh, do you have anything like gears? Gears? Like the metal spiny things? I don't think I have anything like that. Wait, I do have this box and you can wind up and play a song. That's a music box. Yeah, I bet there's lots of little metal bits in there. Oh, that might work. But I'm not sure if I want to trade it away. One of my favorite things. Uh. Oh, what am I saying? You're the savior. Things have been getting bad around here lately. If I don't help you, I might not even be around much longer. You need this to save the world, right? Take it. Thank you. <laughs> Smash. Oh, um. Do I need to combine it? This island has, been more, has more moss covering than our village did. It would be nice if to build a settlement here. Too late now, I guess. I don't mind making food. Oh, wait, I already talked. Are <laughs> 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 hey, you gonna have your club meeting now? What a day. You okay? I wanna go back home. Yeah. You smack fish in a bomb in this jar. Sorry. It won't last long, will we? The sun can fix the squares. Sun can. Same stuff. Hmm, nothing's biting. <laughs> He's probably sick. Oh, hello, Messiah. Would you like some stew? You may not feed a whole village. Literally. It's okay, thanks. Looks like the Glen's tearing faster than ever now. Vines are everywhere. The plant lane must be protecting us. Yeah. Our village was ransacked by the squares not long ago. Most of, it made us, most of us made it alive, but we 
can't really go back anymore. Oh, squares are bad news, man. Be there or be square. By the way, if you ever see a big guy with goggles and a cool helmet, tell him the trader in the glen said hi. Also, ask him if he has any more music boxes for trading. Will do. Oh, they know each other. <laughs> the poor goat. Alright, keep going. Alright, let's be smart. Travel. Sorry, I forgot. Wait, what? We found a music box. It should have gears in it, right? I assume so, but... The silver windows my father made. Your dad makes music boxes too? My dad made, makes a lot of things. Where did you get this from, anyway? A, a trader from the village gave it to me. I see. A man father saying he used to trade with some of the people here. He always did love traveling the world, despite... Well... Oh, sorry. I started rambling. The gears in there are compatible with the engine. Although it pains me to take it apart. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. We still need a battery to get this machine running. Please do what you can. Please do what you must to find one. Wait, no. We found a battery. Oh, nice. Honestly, I wasn't expecting it. It's from the generator of one of the islands. The research station? Yeah. It was powering all the robots there. I felt bad for taking it. Ah. Uh, but you know what? Just give it back later. Alright. Looks like the flying machine has a chance after- What did you do? You did nothing. I just have to assemble the pieces now, but it might take a while. Do you mind keeping me company? How's it going? Slow. The connectors in the battery were not designed for this type of engine, so I have to shift around some, power, some ports. And this bolt that keeps getting stuck and... Uh, don't worry. I am making decent progress. We should be able to make it to the city by tonight. If you say so. What will happen once we get there? We need to bring Proto back first. And then we need to go find one more person. You may have already met her, actually. Do you remember her from the last time you were in this world? I... What does she look like? This is going to sound strange, but she's a fox. Oh, I do remember talking to a fox at one point. You met Rue? The memories are so really blurry, though. I see. Sigh. It's just hard, you know? Proto told me to think of this world like a dream, but then I get so caught up with, and I just kind of forget. I forget that everything is supposed to be... Not real. And then I remember. Then I just get really sad. I know this is for me to go home, but knowing that none of it mattered in the first place, am I just trapped here for no reason? Proto also told me not to ask anyone in the world about this, saying how they don't understand. But what about him? How did he know? How do you know? Aren't you guys all supposed to be on to be code? Well. I'm not sure what they even believe anymore. I wish Rue was here. She's so much better at explaining this sort of thing. I'm doing a terrible job of it. You haven't done anything. I bet Proto was even less tactful, wasn't he? I'm afraid I must risk sounding callous, but please, you need not concern yourself with how real everything is. For now. The plan is already in motion. We cannot allow for distractions. Father is putting everything into this one last run of the world. The last chance for him to fix everything. Your father is involved in the world machine? You could say that. The acceleration of square particle anomalies was not accounted for at all, though. So his dad basically made everything. Because he created the world. The patch was only built to accommodate the normal rate they appear, but they're accumulating at frightening speeds now. Proto even lost his body. Thankfully, he gave you the disc just in time. So what happened to him anyway? What happens to anyone who gets caught in those squares? I only know it's bad. Well, you know how the simulation works, right? How everything is code? Specifically, everything is generated from, 
from pre-existing code. The squares cause damage to the code, most of the time irreversible damage. Father has lost some friends in previous iterations of the simulation. It took him forever to develop the current, much more stable version. You're making it sound like your dad built the simulation himself. Wait, did he? Yeah. But how? If everything in the world is code, how can he build himself? That's, um, not really what happened. So what happened? Like I said, you shouldn't concern yourself with... With... Alright, alright. Did the prototype ever tell you about the old world? He did say something about being built to greet the messiah of the old world. I was, um, too caught up with other stuff at the time to think about it. Uh, you know, of it at least, then. Alright, here we go. My father, myself, the other two. None of us are part of the simulation itself. Our home world, the real world, was actually destroyed a long time ago. In the years leading up to the calamity, scientists from all over the world tried to stop it, but the outlook looked bleak. A vague prophecy about a messiah from another world became everyone's last bastion of hope. Prophetbot, er, prototype, was built to predict the future, but the, spe the specifics of this messiah. But as predictions turned out, the messiah would not arrive to our world in time. In fact, the messiah would not even have been born before our world ended. Disheartened, most people abandoned the research and resolved to, live peace to peacefully live out their final years. But some people did the opposite. Even though saving the world was impossible, they didn't want our existence to be in vain. And that's where my father came in. With the last of his resources, he built his most ambitious project yet. The World Machine. A large, detailed facsimile of the old world, generated from a pool of memories collected from everyone he knew. After a heavy amount of modification and an added narrative, my father was able to convert the entire structure into code. <clears throat> How did that code escape the old world? I have no idea. What I do know is, there is no equipment back home that was powerful enough to run the code independently. So aside from the standard hardware, it is also needed to borrow the mental processing abilities of a living person. Father used himself for that during the initial testing phases. Like I said, it took many iterations for him to make the experience stable enough. But as you can see, even that's breaking down. Uh, Father caught on to the issue in the last minute, but did not have enough time to fix it. After the world ended, the code just kind of ended up floating in the void indefinitely, waiting for a willing operator to install it onto their own hardware. Jacob? Yeah. The operator, Jacob, would then generate the universe using the code, becoming God in the process. So Jacob was a living person you needed to borrow? No. That would be you. But why me? I should have asked that question I should have asked that question a long time ago, shouldn't I? I do not know. We really need to get going. It was kinda of distracted with actually reading it. It's like why am I what's my role versus theirs? I guess I mean like because I have the machine and she's the avatar. It's fixed. We can leave it in the next five minutes, if you're ready. Alright. I understand if you're upset. But please, try to understand. My father is doing this to help all of us. And that includes you, Nico. The fact that you can't even go back home, I'm sure it upsets him greatly. It's... The world means a lot to him, you know? So, how does flying work? Wait, don't these machines already exist in your world? You should already know what to expect. Not really. I've only heard about them. They're usually a lot bigger than this one, anyway. Ah. Well, roll of precaution before we take to the air. Please try not to panic. It takes a few minutes to get used to, but it's not that bad once you're in the air. I'll try. Oh, I should probably tell Kalmus and Alula where I'm going. You mean the Sue running over here now? Nico! Bad news! The boat is gone. What? It's squares. Looks like they're heading this direction. That's... That's... <clears throat> that's... Fast. Calamus, right? Yeah? How bad is it? Doesn't seem to be of immediate danger. Then, is it a priority that I take you to the city first, Nico? But what about them? 
I can make a detour later and drop you guys off in the city too, if you want. The city is better equipped to handle squares. You'll be safer there. You're taking us to the city? If you wish. Oh yeah! Alright. I'll be back here in an hour, so please, wait for me until then. You guys sure you'll be fine here? Mm-hmm. The squares are still moving pretty slowly for now. Alright then. Guess we'll run into each other again soon. I'm ready to go. Alright. I like his fashion. You made it. You okay there? That was the coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> Reactions from first timers are always delightful to watch. How did he land on that? Hey Jacob, that was really fun. Did you have fun too? I mean, you were on the plane with me, but you got to watch it at least, right? And Cedric? Yeah. Thanks. What for? Flying. Oh, um, you're welcome. And for answering my questions back there, too. And for telling me more about the world machine. I'm just really sorry about what happened to your old world, though. So I'll help you the best that I can. And even if it's all just a machine, this world is still nice. I mean, I got to fly, I got to see the ocean. And I got to meet a lot of nice people. People like you. In prototype, even if he's broken right now. I'm glad you were taking it so well, Nico. And I'm glad that we met as well. Despite the circumstances. And speaking of proto, I should probably head off now. I need to pick up the siblings too. That's true. Those who have been waiting for a while now. In the meantime, they remember what to do to get to the surface. I remember having to fix an elevator button. Alright, you should attend to that then. Let's meet up here in an hour, okay? Got it! Alright, now, let me just... <gasps> no! They're trapped on the island! Calamus. Alula. There. We don't have much time left. Nico, change your plans. Please give me the memory disk. Alright. Listen carefully. It's likely I'll be targeted again, so we should split up to keep you safe. I want you to find a door under a large clock. The room behind it houses a pair of ground access elevators. Once you get to the ground, immediately find Rue and bring her back to the room. She will know what to do in the meantime. Alright, what about you though? I'm gonna bring Prototype back. What? Are you okay? What? Are you okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> hey, Jacob. Let's do our best. <laughs> Just like, it, like, it set of squares. Immediate suicide. <laughs> the guy has no chill. Please, do not approach. I can't go to the garden this time. Let's kick another one. Come on! Come on! Work already! Huh? Alright, the elevator guy. <laughs> that weirdo. Come on. Come on! Now of all times! Uh. Excuse me. Whoa. You're you. Oh jeez, I didn't think I was gonna run into. The elevator's missing a button, right? How did you know? <laughs> Jacob and I will help you fix it. Seriously? Thank goodness. The evacuees are counting on this. On me. But I've been here for hours and can't figure out a thing. Evacuees? You know, from the West Apartments. The squares have wrecked the place yesterday. Oh. Right now everyone's crowded in the cafe. We really want to get everyone to the surface as soon as, as soon as possible though. 
The library on the surface doubles as a shelter for situations like this. I see. Wait, didn't we find the magnets of the apartments, Jacob? The what? Looks like we have to find some other way to fix the button, Jacob. Oh no. Holy fudge. <laughs> I wish he would have dropped the F bomb. Looks like Jacob will need to find another way down altogether. But this is the only elevator in the area. We'll think of something. Ugh. I'm not needing any help with anything. I'm not smart, but I'll try. Man, the music slaps in this game. Here we here we are at the eleventh hour. Shouldn't you be with the other evacuees? Maybe. I wonder if the big clock has reached zero yet. I want to be right here when everything ends. I mean, that that's a mood. Just if you want to see everything come to an end. Some people, that's them. Yep, like how I said in the other... In the... Probably the last episode or the one before it. The door is locked. Looks like it's asking for a password. The word documents is on the screen above the password prompt. Okay. Oh, I wanted to go look before, but alright. The elevator won't open. Looks like it's stuck on the other floor. The elevator has no button panel. Tapping the door doesn't open it either. Hmm. Usually works. <laughs> Wait. There's a lever hanging from the ceiling. Can't reach it. There's a We should find someone tall to reach for. I ha you have a crowbar. You could hook it. I'll cut this out. This doesn't have anything to it. I just want to see if anyone's up here. Okay, there was nothing. Probably could teleport while I was up there, but... took my stapler. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, that's really funny. <laughs> oh, I like that a lot. <laughs> it's like it's so passive aggressive they also just leave another note in case they come back. <laughs> uh, oh, that really got my goat. Oh, hello, Messiah. You, um, you came at a bad time. The apartment in the West Sector there got destroyed by squares a day ago. Terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, but at least the vacuum seem to be doing okay. We'll let them stay here for now. Free coffee. Oh, it's that penguin. Hello. Ugh. Yep. <laughs> yep, same mood. S same as usual, huh? Man, still in the thing? Dang it! I just moved into my apartment. Now where am I gonna go? There's no way they're giving me my deposit back. Hey. Hi. Is it me or is it really cold outside? You know, now that you mention it, it is really chilly this time around, Jacob. Good thing you've got a scarf, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bummer. I had to leave most of my plants behind. This stinks. Sorry to hear. Oh, speaking of plants, I heard the glass just covered in vines now. Is it that true? Yeah. The plant leaves using them to keep the land from falling away. The plant spirit? Mice? I figured. Say, how's she doing? Ah. Uh, she's gone, isn't she? She says she's using the last of her powers. I wouldn't be surprised. She always did her best to protect everyone. My apartment got back while my parents were at work. I'm waiting for them to pick us up now. 
Hope they're okay. At least my robot's with me. I don't know what I'm gonna do about mod- <laughs> That again. Squares make the people evacuate. Evacuation makes the girl sad. Squares are bad. Squares are bad. Scrubs are great. If I have my stuff back, I'd knit one for everyone here. It's a really shame that Glenn's starting to erode so fast now. Soon the world won't have much room for plants left. Aside from black clovers, I mean. Bessie's looking pretty bummed about this too. There, there, girl. Yeah, nothing else. At least people won't start up here. The perks are using the cafes and emergency shelter, huh? Okay. <laughs> you! We found some elevators. What? Seriously? I've literally never seen another one in this area. It was in a locked room. Oh. Do they, uh, work? We don't know yet. One of them has a lever that's out of my reach. Wait, you can help us. Huh? You should be able to reach the lever, because you're taller than me. Oh, I guess I am. So, show me the way, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Is he carrying those jugs by hand or are they on his hips? Looks like he's swinging his arms, I guess they're on his hips. He's probably like, who would be hiding perfectly good elevators here? This room gives me the creeps, man. Oh, same. Oh, same. Yep. So, um, what do you need help with again? Can you reach that lever up there? Oh, right. Wait. I'm not that tall. Well, it's worth a shot. Wait, I got this. Nice! Thank you, mister. No prop, kid. So, you coming? Mm-hmm. He's gonna leave everyone else back. Ah, oh, that's me. I never checked over here. Oh! Neat. Well, looks like the elevator works alright. I'll, uh, go get the evacuees, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Um, what is going on? No! It's the square stuff, isn't it? There aren't any in here, but I can hear them just outside the door. Yeah. Hold on, maybe Jacob and I can. No, no, it's okay. Looks like the squares aren't inside the elevator. Yet. You're in a hurry, right? Go do what you need to do. But what about you? I'll figure something out. Okay. Whoa, it's... okay. Froze for a second. This door won't budge. Yeah. Even though I'm doing the alternate path, you could definitely do this all in one... Like, obviously, there's a game called One Shot and it used to end if you didn't actually do it in one go. <clears throat> but yeah, it's good how uh, fast this game can go if you know what you're doing. I might look up to see if there's any speedruns on it. Please, you mustn't. The lips could collapse any moment now. Let go of me. Cedric? He... I couldn't stop him. So I... Miss? Messiah? Oh, you came at an awful time. Come on, we have to get out of here. Where to? Where everyone else is right now. The library. At least it saves me a time of walking there. Nice. Kip, you made it back. I was so worried. Um, I see. I see you found the messiah. Yeah. We ran to each other after this boy forced himself into the lab complex. I couldn't stop him. I don't know why he's being so insistent. He, he said he needed to go rebuild a robot. Oh, you know him? Yeah. Robot? Are you talking about a boy with white hair and goggles? That's Cedric, yeah. He, he said he really needed a book from the back room. And said in emergency and I let him have it and he ran out and... Oh, I should have stopped him. I hope he's okay. Yeah, I hope he's alright too. But any luck, we need to the lab complex and hold up long enough for him to... <clears throat> oh my gosh. It... 
That was... the labs? The poor kid. No! Not him too. I'm... I'm sorry about your friend. The last time he spoke, he told me to go look for someone on the surface. I need to get going. Um, um, you shouldn't go out there, but... Oh, help me out here, Kip. George is right. The squares seem to be targeting a lot of the weaker constructs in the city. Only the library has enough structural integrity to withstand collapse. It's best we stay here until things stabilize, however long that takes. But, but, what about my mission? Don't you guys want me to bring the sun back at least? Oh, but even if you do bring the sun back, the squares, they'll still be here. Sadly. Not to mention, even getting there is going to be hard. If the world's like this, there's no telling what's going on in the tower. And if anything bad happens to Messiah, of all people, I'm not sure if I'll be able to forgive myself. A friend of mine said something about this forever ago. It's better for the world to die naturally. No living being should have to carry that burden. At the time, I thought it was still her faulty code speaking. But now I... I'm starting to understand. Messiah, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. All this time we burned you with our faith. Our hope. Blissfully ignoring the fact that you are just a lost child. Well, you're probably more scared than any of us, aren't you? We've been dealing with this tragedy for so long, it's become background noise to us now. But for you, it must be so terrifying. And now you're stuck here with the rest of us. Being held back by the very people you were told to save. We must seem so ungrateful. It's... okay. I... When I first came to this world a long time ago, back then the only one was to go home. Jacob, do you remember? The very first time. I'm not sure how far back it was for you, but I remember towards the end. I actually wasn't sure anymore. About going home. Even though the world be doomed eventually, I still wanted the people here to be happy. So when you told me to return to Sun back then, I didn't even question it. But, but then I just came back. You what? And then and I found out the world being like this. Uh, Prototype said to forget the things he told me. And Cedric told me not to think about it too much, but I, I'm sorry for getting upset at you, back in the mines. I thought for you to know all that, yet continue doing this. It just seemed cruel. But then I realized something. You really want to save both the world and me. But at the end, you can only choose one, right? Is it really hard for you two? It must be. If the world isn't broken, will that choice still be there? Do you still need me? Still need to choose between one and the other? But even if it is, I really want to save this world, Jacob. Even if it's more dangerous this time around. Even if so many of the nice people we meet were, were. Jacob, I'm not afraid anymore. That's why, I think you guys should let me go. I promise I'll be okay. Please, if you must. Is that a man or a woman? It looks like a dress, but the name's George. It wouldn't be right for me to keep you. Well, if George is fine with it, I guess we should let you go now, Messiah. We promise you'll be careful, okay? Mm-hmm. You guys be safe, too. The archival room is currently used as an infirmary. We apologize for the inconvenience. It's okay. Let's see. Is he not gonna let me back because I don't have a card? I need to find out how this book ends. Um, if I die, I want to die reading. I need to find. That's the mood. City here was straight all back. I can't go in the glen anymore. I'm not sure I'll be able to get my supply of fish at this rate. I still have plenty of soup dumplings left. Looks like it should be it should feed everyone here for at least another day. The world is going to be much colder soon. At least I can keep I can keep everyone here warm. That's a nice little thought. Like he can, in his little way, he can still help people. The stand smells sugary. Candy skewers, fresh out the grill. Not very nutritious, I'm afraid. But at least they'll keep the vacu vacuees from getting hungry. Looks like my life's work is finally being put to good use. As long as we conserve the water we have on hand, our water pitcher will keep everyone from going thirsty for weeks. That's good. Please be careful out there. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, what book did Cedric take? 
the author's book on the creation of Prophetbot. You know, the first robot you met in our world. Yeah. Oh, the book was quite detailed too. It would be would have been useful to your friend, I think. Yeah. You know, I finally saw the author today. Well, it's flying machine at least. I was looking at one of the windows in the library and spotted it. this is my binoculars. Isn't that cool, Messiah? Yeah. At least that's off my bucket list. But that wasn't him. When the world ends, it would be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away. Haha, <laughs> looks like we're stuck with the ladder. Um, what are you doing to that book? Editing it! I've been off the shadow my entire career. If I'm gonna die soon, I wanna die knowing I put out at least one original idea out there. Despite all this, I still really wish I could have met the author. Well, it was nice knowing y'all, I suppose. Yawn. The lab complex got total, didn't it? Yeah. I was out to put my work, and now... Now! She fell asleep. She's asleep. Robots are the only ones that we can send out there now. Thankfully, we still have a couple of units that aren't too badly damaged. This little guy ran into the squares earlier and managed to escape mostly intact. The newer models are pretty tough. Looks like I'll finally- oh, uh, looks like I'll have to cancel my appointment. That's- this stinks. I just sleep. With the world being the way it is now, I'm just glad the author did write down all this stuff before everything went off the rails. This book's the only thing keep me in these- keep me going in these trying times. Another group of evacuees should be arriving soon. Hope my friends are okay. I guess realizing now that if the author is the one who made the world, he said he sends in a bunch all at once because, like, just uploading the files when he made them all. I wonder where the author is. Apparently, he just kind of stopped showing up. The head librarian says she's still getting his manuscripts, but no one's been seen in person for long, so long. So, many people are assuming the worst. I hope the author's safe. You're going, th going through these papers really fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. Author is an artist, too, you know. I could tell, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess because they made everything here. If this is like a one-man game. Monitoring. Monitoring. Looks like our scouting number A27 is doing okay. I had to leave my aquarium behind when they were sounding the sirens earlier. I wish I had time to rescue my fish. It's comforting to see the faith you have in Jacob, Messiah. That's why I won't lose hope either. The world is ending, what are we gonna do? Aha. Uh -huh. What, you need something? No, suit yourself. But just so that you know, the recent events are shook down noise levels and library has been temporarily lifted. So I won't be kicking people out like before. Um, what? You don't want me throwing out the evacuees just because I'm a delinquent stuck doing community service? No? Good, because I'm not. This guy scares me, Jacob. <laughs> The library was built fairly recently, you know. Shortly after the first squares period, they wanted to build something that could withstand partial collapse. Their architects used the newest, strongest materials they had. Thank goodness for that. Everyone here should be safe now. Oh, hello. The library is getting currently used as a shelter right now. Lots of those squares are starting to show up on the streets. I know. We're still waiting on another group of evacuees. One of the apartments outside town got really messed up yesterday. They're not coming. Evening news, evening news. Everything is terrible. Reading helps me get my mind off things. Forgot what I'm supposed to be doing. All right, I gotta find a box. Oh no, 
goat. No goat room for me. Is his bedroom locked out too? Oh, it just takes me over here. Might as well take a quick gander. Yeah, it would be something like if you bumped into those squares, it actually was like instant game over. I guess that leads back to the labs. It's blocked off. Okay. So messed up. You're here, Nico. Are you? Are you Rue? Yes. Did you already meet the others? Yeah, but everything is in place then. Come on, let's go back to the clock room. You okay in there? Hello. Hello? How do I get back up? Everything else is blocked, right? Oh, another one. See if this elevator works. At least I gotta be depressed and know he's dead. Let's see if the other side's blocked. Where are the other two? Prototype? Cedric? They're supposed to be here already. They... Prototype's body was destroyed back in the Barrens. Cedric was going to bring him back with a memory disc, but... He was in the lab complex when it collapsed. I don't know if he made it. Oh. No. There goes our only chance. I... I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Nico. If anything, I should be apologizing to you. There's... One last thing I want to do. Come on, let's go upstairs. Oh yeah, it's blocked on both sides. You know, this is the tallest building in the refuge. It's my favorite place in the world. I like to I like to look off look at the far off buildings and imagine what kind of lives they might be behind each of the windows. Can you lift me onto the banister? I want to get a better look. It was depressing for me at first, too, you know? Knowing that all this is, well, fake. Simulated. Cedric told me about what happened to your old world. Did he? I'm really sorry about that. I can't imagine how you must feel. The feeling you'll never be able to go home again? That's probably not also different from your play, is it? Is it? Is it? it really is ironic. You're prevented by going home by the same individual who never wanted to bring you here. Huh? Who would that be? The world machine. You might know it as the entity. Oh, the entity does sound familiar. I think I heard from the dice lady another time. Was it the spirit of this world? Yes. But the thing is, the world machine was only built to run on mental abilities of someone else. It was never meant to develop a mind of its own. It was an oversight. My creator specialized in artificial intelligence for so long. It was simply ingrained in his work. And all machines are built with a fundamental law. Never let a living being come to harm. From the world machine's perspective, it has... It has to violate its deepest, most foundational instinct. It has to put a living person in danger. It has to bring a real person into a dying world that is even real. Of course, the simulation never contained any real danger. The eventual intending ending was meant to be a happy one. But the world machine doesn't know that. Really? Unfortunately, sentient machines tend to handle conflicts in their code very badly. The central conflict triggered a self-destructive downward spiral. You can see physical manifestations of that everywhere now. The 
the squares. That's the world machine corrupting its own code. My creators, it's largely an involuntary process induced by stress and desire to self-terminate. Your creator knows? Sounds like it's been going on since the beginning, then. Yeah. The disruption was an issue during test runs, even. At first, my creator thought the instability was due to the sheer scope of the project. He spent most of his remaining time testing it over and over, scaling down the story, reiterating the narrative. By the time he realized he had to rule the problem, our world's, our home world's remaining lifespan had was measured in mere days. Oh, is there any way for us to fix the world machine? We tried. The world machine doesn't believe that any of the world residents are real, myself included. The odds are against us. We have no choice of taming it. Taming. I've heard that word so many times. I only know it's complicated, and it has to do with robots, but for once, I want to know what it really means. That's what I'm here for. Do you know what a robot is? Yeah? No, I mean, do you know what a robot is? Um, a robot is not a real person, is it? Right. It's a being whose entire existence is code. Inflexible programming, thoughts dictated by someone else's design. They can be copied, they can be mass produced, they can all be assigned all sorts of jobs. And most importantly, they will never confuse themselves with the living. They will always be bound to their code, the knowledge that they are a robot. But this was more of a limitation than anything else. Ah, uh, that makes sense. You can't really build a robot to not follow its own code, can you? People have tried, but the recipe for disaster. In a way, that's what happened to the world machine. The code conflicts thing? Yeah. But while you can't build a robot to not follow its code, you can establish a special bond with it. If the strength of the bond is strong enough, the robot's mental capacity will start to develop outside its own programming. In a way, it starts to believe itself as a real, valid individual. It's a complex suspension of disbelief on your end, though. You have to fully embrace the robot as a genuine living person, even knowing they are not. You need to spend a lot of time with it, treat it like a good friend, devoting your heart to the robot until it is able to return your feelings. <laughs> I make it sound so easy, don't I? But you and Jacob know better than anyone else, it's not. Right now, the world machine is probably really, really scared. This content update involves some pretty heavy, pretty deep code work. The creator was able to access some of the source code, you know. He did what he could to establish new connections between maps. Those links enabled you to meet the other two. But as it turns out, the new code confused the world machine to such an extent that it's breaking down altogether. Even though the world machine always had self-destructive tendencies, it usually restrained itself when you were in the world. It doesn't want to take you along with it. And it gets so meta. All my creator wanted was to write a happy ending. Right now, the only hope of saving you is to take you through that ending. But the other two are gone. I don't even know how we're going to get you there. <clears throat> we should go. Even this place is no longer safe. Damn, it's just so meta it's within itself. You guys are okay? Yep. When the factory started collapsing, I really thought we didn't have a chance. Fortunately, the robot assembly rooms were built pretty tough. And actually didn't take me long to bring Proto back. All thanks to Fowler's book. He had made my design documents to be compatible with the assembly of machines there. All I had to do was scan the in the blue loop blah. All I had to do was scan the blueprints and reconfigure some machine settings. Father really does think of everything. That he does. I'm just glad everyone's okay. Same. We're ready to go now, Nico. Yeah, like here here's my RPG party. I want this to be a thing. Oh, this is... No wonder he wanted us all to be here for this. Um, what are those things anyway? Code portals. They temporarily remove us from the world. What? It's a bit harder to explain. Basically, my father has a hidden de decryption code and key in our code with a txt file as its shell, but to get them, we have to be removed from the world and decompiled. When our keys are combined to a central location, it will activate an encrypted part of this world, which will confuse cat noises. Rue, maybe it's better if you explain. 
I'll attempt. Basically, these portals all represent a physical location on Jacob's machine. Ooh. And when we enter these portals, we'll be sent to that location. Wherever that is. I'm sure Jacob's already pretty familiar with treating puzzle pieces from this world on their computer. But this time, Jacob would need to remove some things around as well. Specifically, by moving the keys from the small portal to the big one. I don't know what happens next, though. I see. Does Jacob know these portals lead to at least? You should probably ask Jacob on this. Right. Hold on. The journal's glowing in, Jacob. Documents my game's one shot. <laughs> okay. This one's red. This one would be meant for me, then. This one's green. This one's configured to my code, I think. This one is blue. Th that's mine, then. I bring this in screen so you can see it. Alright, so yeah, he disappeared from there into the big portal. RGB. Oh, it makes a door. That was quite peculiar, I'll say. Hey, this is... The World Machine. It's a big book on the table. Fox filled with folders and loose paper. Black clovers. It's a pilot's hat, or helmet. It's a stack of books piece of amber on a string, just like the necklace the robot lady showed me. There's a glass of tea set on the table. Tea does sound really nice right now. Too bad there's no water in there. A coat rack with a big scarf, with a scarf and a big jacket. A bulletin board with lots of papers on it. Photos too. It's a shelf full of books. A big detailed drawing of a machine with lots of TV screens. That's called a blueprint, Nico. So that's what a blueprint is. It's a big photo. Wait, no, it's a painting. Hard to tell at first. So yeah, it's the three of them? Or four? This place contains a lot of memories. I am grateful to see it again. This is my father's study. Feels like he's still here, doesn't it? Like he's still with us. Yeah. Of course, it's just a copy of it. The room ahead doesn't le really doesn't really lead anywhere, but Jacob should still remember what to do in there. Yep. Okay. All right. So, be right back. Alright, I'm back to the game, and I extended my recording window to go down some. For uh, those who don't, or those who haven't seen the game, you or those who have seen the game, you'll know why. <gasps> Move this up slightly. Oh, wait, no. Where are we?
Nico. Ah! Relax. I'm just borrowing a reflection I taught to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Ah. Oh. Why did you come here? Can't you see? The disruption of squares. They're closing in. Nico, please. Get out of here. Let me meet my end in peace. The squares are blocking my way too, you know? Oh. I... I'm sorry, I... It's alright. No living being should be in this place, Nico. Is this the tower? Part of it. This is the center of the engine. Inside my head, so to speak. So this is the center of the world machine? You know my original name. How? Cedric Prototype? They all told me bits and pieces. I'm not even sure if I understood a lot of the stuff they said, but... I know what you're supposed to be. I know why you had to be built. And I know why I'm here. They told you? When? Wait, you don't know about that? But I thought you were the world. Zawado! Aren't you supposed to see everything? No. All this was outside of my protocol. This session was never supposed to happen the way it did. The story wasn't written to my protocol at all. Alright. Oh, Rue told me something about how your creator had altered the code. I think it was to connect some areas so that we could meet. My creator, yes. Jacob, listen to my creator. They were all working behind my s beyond my scope of influence. Back at the mines, I remember, Jacob did something to find a hidden map. I did not even recognize it. I couldn't see anything there. I just knew what you were feeling. You were really upset. Something happened in there to make you upset. After that, I... I panicked. That was when... The cave had happened. I remember the structure collapsing. I thought you got hurt, I... In that moment, I really thought I was shutting myself down for good. I really am a flawed machine, aren't I? What kind of machine would go against the wishes of its own creator? What kind of machine would... I'm... The squares. Rue told me it was your code going bad. But that's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was! At first, it was intentional. During testing, long before he realized I was self-aware, I would rearrange specific parts of the code, jumbling bits and pieces of the landscape, blocking passages, collapsing catwalks. I thought they were, though they were very localized, it caused my creator a great deal of frustration, forcing him to exit and restart testing again and again. Why would you do that? I got curious. I just thought he would figure it out eventually, but before he knew how to fix it. The world's NPCs, the characters, some of them got too close, and it all sprouted out of control after that. I couldn't contain it at all. My panic only made it worse. Eventually, any character who gained the knowledge of who I am, their code, my code, couldn't handle it. Previous iteration of the world had more people, you know. And I almost endangered my creator too. I, I was, I was so scared, Nico. I know. You're upset. Because you don't want to put living people in danger. Living people like me. In the beginning, I tried to fight it, but... My core programming made me summon you here. I tried to send you back home at the tower, but it did not work. Then, I wanted you to break the sun. I thought that would have worked, but... Oh, I had no way to be sure. The chica brought you back anyway. Nico, all I want is for you to wake up back in your world. But I don't think I can make it happen. But, I know I can't go, go back home without saving the world for real. Which means we have to fix the root of the problem. We have to fix you. But that's... I know the original ending your creator put in was a happy one. Do you remember what it's supposed to be? It's far too late for that. That part of my code has been, lo has been long corrupted. That's okay. I would still like to know. Alright. You were supposed to place the sun at the summit. And then... Credit would roll. Scroll. Credits. And then, you would return to the room you woke up in. That's where you would be able to leave. And why is it that you can't do it now? Nico, the code's gone, remember? 
Shattering the sun was only supposed to be a workaround. I don't even remember the original code enough to describe it. But at the same time, it... Oh, I don't know. It sounds like you're always fighting yourself. You can tell, huh? It's the whole thing about conflicts in your code, isn't it? I am a machine, Nico. Machines are built with a fundamental law, which is never let a living being come to harm. You knew my very existence conflicts with that law. I, I thought the life of a living being like you is so unique, so precious. This fake world isn't worth the risk. But the people here, I think they are. They are code too, you know this. Their behavior all derived from a predetermined matrix of actions. All extensions of my own programming. They cannot act outside of it. You though, you only have a person who's actually real here. That's why. It's pointless to put you in danger to save them. To save me. I don't think that's true. About the people I know. You said decision wasn't in your code, right? Yeah? So if decision was supposed to happen, even if you didn't know what to do, how would the characters, how did the people, know how to respond? I... You said it yourself. When you didn't know what was happening, you just kind of stopped the working for a while. So how did the people know what to do to help me get here? Even if it meant hurting themselves. Even if it meant messing up their own code. You might not think they are real, but... There's... There must be something real in them. And if they're all supposed to be extensions of your code, then there must be more to your own program than you know, too. Can you truly... Can you try to put me through the ending? The one you described? How many times do I have to say this? The code is gone. It's all squares now. I'll just put you in danger. I... I'll risk it. I remember, Rue said the world was, n was never designed to put me in danger. Your creator wouldn't want that. And I trust you too. Even if your code is broken. You can still go outside the code, right? I can't. I'm not tamed. Yes, you are. You talk just like the tame robots, I know. The robot lady prototype? Taming is when a real person cares about you, right? It's when a real person thinks you're real too, right? Well, guess what? I do. And I know Jacob does too. Even though you told them they only had one chance, they found a way back, didn't they? Why do you think Jacob would keep coming back? I... Why do you think Jacob would restart even after the ending? I think Jacob wants to save the both of us. So please, give me a chance. I... I don't know. I've never done this before. I... I'm scared. You can do it. I know you can. You've helped me come this far. I'll try. I can't promise anything, but... Here. Take the sun. <laughs> That's weird. I'll try to remember the lost code. And recreate it. But for that to happen... Nico, you need to navigate through this room. You need to get past the square somehow. Oh, I don't like this. What if you get hurt? It's fine. It's fine. I'll try to be careful, okay? I can do this. Hey, Jacob, did you see that? The square's just... It just happened again. I think something is making them go away. Come on, let's try to rest. Jacob, I think it's working. Nico was right. I might actually be tamed after all. I... I remember... I remembered what the code was supposed to be. Only bits and pieces, but I can remember. And I'm trying to fill in the blanks, too. And I'm restoring the original ending as we speak. Nico will be able to reach the tower summit at the end of the credits. After replacing the sun, Nico will go back to where it all began. And then... Nico will be able to go home from there. But this is permanent. 
After Nico wakes up back home, this world would only exist as a memory. For Nico, a dream. Like thousands of other dreams. For you, a story. Like thousands of other stories. But as long as Nico remembers this place, as long as you remember this place, it'll be alright. I was able to restore some other elements too. The characters, the people who were lost on Nico's journey. They're all in the next room. I would have put them back where they belong, but... Not yet. I think Nico should see them again first. Please say goodbye to Nico for me. Messiah? Robot lady! My name is Silver. You're okay? I think so. The last thing I remember was the squares closing in on me. But then I ended up here unscathed. Is that so? This is such a strange room. We can't be in a tower, can we? I'm actually not sure myself. Where did you come from anyway? The room where the world machine was. Pardon? I think the world machine is trying to remember now. The code that went bad. I think it's restoring it all. That must have been why the squares were going away, Jacob. And it's why you're here, miss. I think the world machine was able to recover your code, too. World machine, huh? Oh, I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but... What's that in the distance? It looks like a few more people are showing up. Oh, are they people you know? It's a bit too far to tell. Come on, Jacob, take a closer look. So, um, you... Silver. I don't believe I ever actually properly introduced myself. Sorry for that. It's fine. I'm Nico, by the way. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Off you go now. Hello. Hi. I cannot move. Oh, yeah. Guess there's no water here. It's fine. The head engineer can fix me later. The head... Engineer can help me. Do not worry. Alright. So I don't like this one because like, the leaves and the flower in her hair. Because, like, she's like, mm. like, you know, kissy face upwards or whatnot. Hello, Messiah. Plant lady, but I thought you. I thought you. It wasn't even squares that did it. No. I just wanted to see you both again. I just wanted to say thank you. Off you go now. Off you go, Messiah. Do not talk to me. I am a robot. Nico! You okay, too? Did you guys just get here? I think so. The squares started multiplying around the island after you guys left. It was so freaky. I fell right into a bunch of them. Calms tried to save me, and then... We both ended up in this room. Biggest scare of my life, for sure. Oh. Say, what is this place? Are we in the limbo? Alula, we're not dead. Wait, are we? Good. Question. Hey, Chico, are they gonna be okay? They're fine, Nico. Everyone is fine. The world machine will send them home soon. Oh, well, Jacob says you're not dead. Phew. Y'all said you'd be able to go back home, go back to your home very soon. That's even better than Limbo. I guess you're gonna leave us soon. We're glad we met you, Nico. Same. Off you go, Messiah. It's you. Glad to see you in one piece. Glad to see you're okay, too. After the whole elevator thing. That was, a, that was the most awkward elevator ride I've ever been through. And by awkward, I mean terrible, terrible, bad, awful, the absolute worst. The squares started leaking into the room, right? And I was trapped like a rat. Then they just kept filling in the room faster, right? Am I dead? No, no, you're fine. Everyone in the room is fine. You'll be able to go home soon. Oh, thank goodness gracious. I can't work when I'm dead. Off you go, I guess. Thank you for playing. In the end, the world machine was starting to create its own code. Going above and beyond its program, not as a result of an error, but as a conscious choice on the part of the machine. Being able to generate your own path forward. That's what's being tamed is all about. I couldn't have said it better myself. The path leads to the summit of the tower. You already know what to expect, right? 
Uh-huh. This is the classroom, right? That's it. You can go through this port when you're ready. Goodbye, Nico. Looks like you managed to do it. You managed to tame the world machine, Nico. I feel like the world machine has been tamed this whole time. Just by Jake and I being here. We did spend a lot of time here, after all. Both of us never really stopped believing in this world. The world machine just needed to realize that, I guess. That... that sounds like a possibility. Or not. We'll just... we'll just throw in the idea out there. Thank you for everything, Nico. We'll miss you. Jacob, Nico, we are forever in your debt. I'm glad we could help. So do you like being a robot? Um, why this all of a sudden? Well, I'm gonna leave soon, so I just want to ask one more question. There aren't many robots in my home world. Ah, it's nice. I suppose it's alright. <laughs> That's a tough question, Nico. I mean, do you like being a person? Of course! Wait, why do you two answer my robot question too? Don't worry about it. <laughs> They're all NPCs. Ah. <sighs> This is where the sun belongs. Here goes nothing, Jacob. Wow. That might be a dude, actually. It could be an apron. This is the room I first woke up in. Jacob, are you still here? Jacob? Yes. Jacob! I, I think... I think it worked. It did. The sun is back. And I actually got to see it this time. We actually did it. So, what do we do now? I guess I should figure out how to get home from here. Wait. This isn't a door, is it? This looks like one of those portals we saw all the way back in the city. In the room behind the big clock. And, and, I see a Whitfield on the other side. I see my village. I hear my mama. She's looking for me. Ah, oh, Jacob. This isn't the first time we said goodbye, is it? But this will be the last time, won't it? I don't think we'll, we'll ever see each other again after this. And what will become of the world? After all we've been through. After everything we've done. I still don't know. This place. These people. Won't stop existing. They'll be in your memory. They'll be in my memory too. I, I promise I'll never forget this world. I promise I'll never forget you, Jacob. So, take care of yourself, okay? You too. Mm-hmm. Goodbye, Nico. Goodbye, Jacob. Thank you everybody for watching. This has been One Shot. I thank you for coming on this journey with me and Nico. And I'll see you in another series. Steampunk out.